Okay, anybody want to learn how to tune a posse? You'll see we've already polished the posi case. One of the things that I always try to do here, and that is to stack my clutches, there will be one side of the plates and discs that will have a nub slightly raised higher than the other side. And I always try to get the nubs facing down so that as you stack, you'll have a nub against something that's fairly flat. You're going to have to look at your, clo your clutches real close to pick it out. It's, it's kind of hard. Anyhow, you get your, you get your clutches stacked, all nubs facing down. And the, the spiders have already been heat treated by, you can do that or you don't have to do that. But anyhow, let's get started. You put a little oil on here. I like the Lucas 85140. Petroleum base, no synthetic please. And you just alternate until you run them out. Piece of cake. All right, well, we've got all our clutches stacked, piece of cake. We're going to start with, uh, you guys are probably only going to have something like a 45. We make ours in between, so we actually have a 42.5. So since you will have a 45, we'll start there. It'll probably be a little on the tight side, but we'll see. Put your, your shim always goes on the last clutch between the clutches and the case. Do not put it underneath here because if you put it there, what will happen is you'll raise that clutch up and you'll lose some of the spline on the side gear and possibly shear the disc. So always shim against the case. And I usually turn it upside down. Put that side in. This was the left hand side. A flipper. It's going to be so easy to tune, you'd be amazed you haven't done it for a long time. Put your first pinion gear in, axle on device, spin it. Okay, line it up with a back hole. Put your fingers in there and hold it in place. Get your other pinion, and of course you want it to be lined up so that the cross shaft will go in. And I'm probably trying to show off and not do it right, but there we go. Roll them into place. Okay. Get your thrust washer oiled up. Turn the posi so that the pinion gear comes out of the cup there a little bit and then roll it back in with your thrust washer. Same on the other side. Put your finger in there, get them straightened up to the hole. Cross shaft goes in and your posi is together. Basically that's still actually fairly loose. But we'll put some oil in here and we'll spin it. You don't need to put the cross shaft bolt in because this isn't the only time this is going to go back together. So right now we're sitting on a 45 and you can see that that actually turns way too easy. And it gets some tight spots and that's what you need to do with your oil. And what we do is we actually put it in a little machine and let it turn 50 times all the way around. So you'd be able to turn that by hand without much. So, I'm going to take this apart. Put our 45s up there, and we're going to jump it up just two and a half dial to show you what, what that can change. So 
So basically we got a 32 and a half and a 15, so we're at 47 and a half. We've only gone up two and a half dollars. And we do offer the double disc round shims if you really want to get nitty gritty on a tune up. Roll them back in spot. Make sure you put your finger in. Do not turn it with your finger in there, by the way. Common sense. I just put my finger in there to make sure that they're lined up. And another good way to do it is you can get a drift punch and just stick her in there and kind of turn her around, center it up. That's actually not bad, but when we put it in the machine, it's going to settle up those clutches and this will actually, after it turns a hundred times, will actually be looser and we will go back up another two and a half per side undoubtedly. But if you're doing this at home and you don't, you don't have access to turn this, you can sit there and turn it with a spanner wrench 50 times, but I want you to go 50 times each way. You can't cheat. But basically, it's very hard for me to tell you how tight it is, but you just, you've just you got to be able to turn it without grunting and groaning, but of course you can't just sit there and spin it real easily. Okay. As far as backlash, you hear this backlash all the time. Oh, how much backlash should I have? There is no backlash in there. That's the idea of tuning it. What you do by tuning it, by adding additional shims here, what it does when your posi is connected to your ring gear, when the pinion turns the ring gear, the only thing connected to the ring gear is the posi case. All the power flows through the, the cross shaft into the pinion gears. Pinion gears, uh, natural gear force, force the side gear away and compress the clutch. By adding extra shim, what you've done is you've moved the side gear closer to the pinions so that when you nail it, that side gear doesn't have to travel as far to lock it up so you get a much quicker lock up. At the same time, when it's closer to the two gears, you have more gear tooth contact, so it's indeed stronger. Correct? Piece of cake. So now we need to go spin. We've got this in our, our little machine here, and so we can flip this little puppy on. Let her go basically one minute because it's set for 50 RPMs. Shut this puppy down. Okay, so we spun her 50 times. It's quite a bit looser already. So you do want to settle your clutches in. I mean, use that wrench and it's like nothing to it. Very easy. So what we'll do is we'll go to that 50. The problem is if you try to jump up a lot at one time when you're on, you know, when you're getting close to having it tuned, an extra five per side can make it real hard to turn and you will not enjoy turning that 50 times by hand. So we got 47.5, we're going to step up to 50, okay we're at 50 and, then, and we're basically pretty close to where we were at the 47.5 before we spun it. So what we need to do now is put her back in the machine, spin it again, and see if we stay at 50 or if we go to 